Hi guys, I'm really upset. I just spoke so much life and the video didn't save. And it just said, oh my God, I'm speaking so much life. But I'm gonna try to give y'all that same energy. Welcome to the chat, welcome to the chat, welcome to the chat. We're talking about multiple streams of income and how important it is for us. It's no longer... It's, I got 15 minutes with y'all, so I'll be off of here at, what is it, about 4.50. Multiple streams of income is no longer an option, it's a necessity. We have multiple bills, right? And I'm going to try to give y'all the same energy I had in my last video. I'm sorry, the video didn't save and I guess I was just speaking into the phone and it didn't save. But um, multiple streams of income is a must. We cannot depend on the government. We cannot depend on PPP. We cannot depend on EDIL. Or if I, am I saying that right? We cannot depend on unemployment. We cannot depend on our boss. We cannot depend on our job. We cannot depend on Sally down the block. We cannot depend on anybody else but us when is it time that you're gonna invest in yourself when are you gonna say enough is enough i've been getting a lot of calls lately and i'm not gonna put out people's names because that's not my style and i i'm a woman of class but i got a call from a few friends one just lost their job one stream of income Right, which is a, which is a it, that's something serious. Another one scared because unemployment is ending. Don't know what to do. And I said to them, I said, listen, I've been there. I know. But when are we going to take control of our lives? We know what a job will give us. We know what one income will give us. But what if you took a chance on yourself? Now, I have a few friends, I had a friend the other day tell me she was scared, she was getting money from the government, and she couldn't make, uh, she couldn't show that she was making more money, or they would cut off that income, and I thought to myself, and I said to her, I said, well, what if you tried to make more income and you didn't need them anymore? Why? We are so, we are such slaves to the government. The government don't give a fuck about us. Excuse my language. They don't give a damn about us. They don't. When are we going to take our livelihoods into our own hands? When are we going to do that, guys? Now, I heard another story about... Um, I got some news topics, so you definitely want to stay tuned to this live. Because I got some great topics for y'all. But I heard another story about it takes five years to get Section 8. And I know some people need that because they have babies, they have financial problems. But it's like, what if you use that same five years and built a multi-million dollar business? What if you poured into yourself? What if you invested in yourself? It's really time for us to start to say, it's time for me to do for me. When are we going to do that? So many people are losing their jobs. They're facing eviction. They're facing this. They're facing that. When are you going to make to start another stream of income for yourself? When are you going to build that business for yourself? When are you going to give yourself financial freedom for yourself? When are you going to do that? How long can you keep waiting for food stamps, Section 8, all of these things? It gets you nowhere. When are you going to remove yourself from certain uh certain energies and certain locations to learn when are you going to do that for yourself there's so much opportunity in this country the news just said rihanna just uh she's now officially a billionaire 1.7 billion this girl has made money offline sales e-commerce 
And I want to give a shout out to my girl Tanisha e-commerce um, queen, e-commerce god actually. We did a pop-up shop and there were so many businesses there who are making money off of their own business. What if you decided today I start my own business and I make six to seven figures a year? When are you going to pour it into yourself? When? When are you going to do it? That same five years you're waiting for Section 8, you can start a business. How you doing? Hi, young love. Hi, young mobile. <laughs> but you can start a business. When are you going to pour into yourself? And it's, I'm going to be real with you guys. I had a talk last night. I was on a Zoom last night. And we were talking about, um, oh, if you guys didn't know, I now have a credit business as well. So if you need help with your personal credit, your business credit, or LLC formation, you can definitely DM me, contact me ASAP, ASAP. Um, I have a serious passion for good credit, for credit in general, because I know what it could do for your life if you use it the right way. I was talking to a woman today. She used her credit to start a car a car business and she has two different locations and she's making money hand over fist what if you used your good credit to invest in investment properties and you started doing airbnb or high tenants in there paying you every month in your sleep what if you use your good credit to start a business to fund a business to get inventory let me get into this thing to get inventory what if you did that Hey, Tanisha, I just talked about you. I'm talking about business and how we had the pop-up shop and how you the e-com god. And we're grateful for you. And um, we're just talking about getting into different environments. What if you use your good credit to free yourself? Last night, we were talking about other people's money. The bank is giving out so much money. Now, I know, especially if you have good credit. I know a few people who get a ton of money from the bank and they want to buy designer. They want to buy this. They want to buy that. They want to live a certain lifestyle. But what if you use some common sense, and I say this with love, love and light, and use the bank's money to start and find a business that will pay you for the rest of your life and will free you and you'll never have to step another day inside of an office ever again. What if you did that? What if you did that? Rihanna just became a billionaire. 1.7 billion. Yes, she's made money off of um, singing and dancing. But now she don't got to sing and dance country to country and be on a flight every single day and not see her family. She don't have to do that no more. She knows e-commerce now. She has, I think she has two businesses. What is it? Fenty Beauty and then The Savage. She sells online for the comfort of her home. The comfort of her home, just like how I'm driving and I'm, I'm recording myself driving, this is a comfort. And I want to thank Instagram for the opportunity as well. I got a few girls earning with um, badges, milestones. I got a few girls earning with this, going live. What if you started that YouTube channel? What if you started that Patreon? We're so busy online looking at people twerking and people flexing online. What if you were starting to flex and you started teaching something you know? Maybe you know how to do hair. Maybe you know how to bake a cake. Why not package it and put it out there and put it on your YouTube? Put it on your Patreon. I'm giving you the game for free only for a short period of time. I'm telling y'all that. I told y'all that. What if you started to do something for you? I think I got a few more minutes left. I'm not exactly sure how much minutes. Um, just to be safe, I'm going to do 10 more minutes. What if you started to do something for you? We even spoke about life insurance. I know in my household, it's fend for yourself. That's what it was growing up. Fend for yourself. But life insurance. And that's, that's messed up. That's really, really messed up. People are uh, passing on generational wealth with life insurance. People are getting 100000 200000 1 million life insurance policy when somebody passes. Why not protect your family? 
do you really want your family when you die and you're the breadwinner to go through the system to be in a shelter because you didn't you didn't protect your family you didn't protect them we were talking about how Aretha Franklin and Prince died and they didn't have a will and trust and with my company, we have will and trust and life insurance and credit. And we're talking about will and trust. These are things that are not spoke about in the community. Oh, I almost missed my um, exit. These are things that are not spoken about in the community. Why are we not talking about this? Why are we acting like we're going to live forever? Why are we acting like things don't happen? These things need to be taught. Even in my household, I wasn't taught. I was expected to know and I wasn't taught. That's what I was told. I was expected to know. How would I know if I'm, I'm a kid growing up or I'm a teenager growing up? I was never taught. Have good credit. Make sure you take care of your finances. I would have avoided a lot of heartache and sorrow and terrible, turbulent times had I known the importance of having good credit. I know in New York, you can't get nothing without good credit. I don't give a damn if you had a Section 8, City, Fabs, HASA, whatever program you had. A landlord still wants to see good credit. Did you know that? I know in the United States of America, if you want anything, you need good credit. Do you want to keep begging people to be co-signers for you? Or paying all, these, all this amount of money? Because you have lack of credit. I wish I brought a snack, guys. I didn't eat anything today and I have a lot of places to go. I wish I brought a snack. I should have ate something, but, you know, I was rushing. And you know what? It's so funny because I had so much to do today that I said forget vanity because I have to get this information. I'm actually on my way to meet a friend at, at the office. Um, you know, definitely a good friend. I'm definitely on my way to meet um, to meet him and then I gotta go somewhere else to get some information and it's like the information is out there if you want to get it you follow the right people you engage with the right people you have the right conversations you invest in the right mentors you get around the right communities you go to the good areas go to the good area and drive around meet somebody ask somebody successful how did you do that hold on My sister bought me this today. It's the mango snapple. I think I might have a salad later. But um it's really our mindsets. It's really and truly our mindset. We have to work on our mindset. Because it's one thing to have all of these thoughts. But if your mind ain't right, ain't nothing right. You gotta program that mind to break the chains of poverty. Because poverty is a spell. It's deep. It's psychological. Because we live in an abundance. I don't even like speaking that word. Even when I spoke the word, it was like, oh. But um, it's psychological. You gotta break that. You gotta break it off of you. That's why I wrote my book. And um, a few people have DM'd me to thank me about my book and they said they love the book. You know, if you get the book, definitely leave a review. When you get the book, leave a review. But um, you definitely wanna pick up the seven secret keys to transform your life and level up. That book has impacted so many lives. So dozens, hundreds of lives. My book has helped. And it teaches you. It's a very quick read. It gives you step to step what exactly to do to change your mindset. Our mindset is our personal bank. Our mindset is everything. What are you thinking? What are you speaking? I speak wealth, health, success, love, happiness, joy. Abundance, prosperity, health, wealth, youth, success, love, 
joy, happiness over my life and over your life. What are we speaking and what are we thinking about? Hmm? Hmm. And you know who I really love to listen to? I used to love and I actually interviewed his partner. I wish I could find the video to put it back on my YouTube channel. We spoke about uh, toxic relationships. Was Sir, rest in peace to Reverend Ike. He used to drive around his Rolls Royces and he would speak prosperity. And get people off of Section 8. Get people... Who never was working to own businesses and change, transform their lives. And I love him because he, he really poured into me through his videos and through his tapes. It was to the point I downloaded all his tapes. I remember listening to it. Driving. At that time I was driving a Volkswagen Jetta and I thought I was so rich. Black on black on black. And I would listen and I would speak life into myself and into a friend at the time, a friend. And I would be speaking life. Reverend Ike's words were so beautiful. And now my words are so beautiful. I'm an author, you know. I speak life into people. And like I told you guys, I now offer credit solutions. So, if you want to talk to... Oh, yeah. Um, you want to get that situated, definitely contact me. But, um, yeah, guys, so many, there's so many opportunities out here. You just gotta open your eyes and see them. People are running up. The crypto boys are running it up. The Airbnb people are running it up. The econ gods are running it up. The YouTubers. I remember growing up in my generation, and I say my generation, right? But still in my 20s, and I'm gonna milk my 20s until my 20s can't be milked anymore. But um, we used to look at the rappers. Now the rappers is looking at us. The rappers is looking at entrepreneurs, the YouTubers, the Instagrammers, the TikTokers, the, the Airbnb, the truck, the truck and company people, the credit queens, the credit kings, the car plugs, the mortgage bankers, the lenders, the hard money lenders. We used to look at the rappers and athletes. You ain't got to jump around no more. And I respect everybody. But if this was taught in certain communities, people wouldn't have to swing around on a pole. Ain't nothing wrong with swinging around on a pole because you're an entrepreneur, girl. Get your money. But you can, could have avoided all of these traumas. You don't have to do that. You ain't got to do that no more. We got the internet. You ain't got to do that no more. You can start a business. Use your money. Use your whatever. Your bartending. Your stripper money. Start a business. You ain't got to be a dope boy and risk your freedom no more. You can own a trucking company. I met a, a young kids the other day. I say kids because they're younger than me. I met some young guys the other day. Um, They made 24, 25, I'm sorry, $25,000 last month. That's one of their businesses. The trucking business. And guess what? They don't drive no trucks. What if you could run it up like that? It's at a point I'm looking at them. I'm like, oh, trucking. I got I to gotta find out about trucking. They running it up. Changing their family. Not only their lives, their family's life. Their legacies. They got their whole, it's like a family business over there. And I love to see it. I'm proud of them. Running it up. What if you did something like that for yourself and your family? Hmm? Don't let another generation pass without passing something down. On with that. I love y'all. Make sure y'all pick up the stuff so you can use to transform your life and level up. And also, I got something else coming for y'all that's in the works. Y'all gonna love it. Y'all gonna love it. It's gonna change our lives. Uh, credit is changing. Good credit is changing people's lives. Starting business is changing people's lives. E-commerce is changing people's lives. YouTube is changing people's lives. Mentors are changing people's lives. Live events are changing people's lives. So many opportunities. How do y'all like the new background? How y'all like the new interior? Can y'all see? 
Hold on, hold on. Sorry for that clicking sound. But I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. We in this together. I'm here for you. If you need me, you know how to find me. Alright guys. Peace and blessings.